Hey guys, it's time for February favorites, yay! I'm not wearing any makeup today because, well, I'm lazy, except for my lipstick, which I literally just bought like half an hour ago when I went grocery shopping, and of course I brought a new lipstick home, because that's what you do when you go grocery shopping, right? Anyway, let's talk about my favorites now. I'm gonna start with skincare, because I'm really happy with the way my skin looks lately, and this one is one of the reasons why. It's from The Ordinary, and it's called Marine Hyaluronics. I bought it instead of my hyaluronic acid serum, which was okay, nothing was wrong with it, but I just ran out of it and this one was new and it promised a bit more lightweight feeling on the skin and to be even more hydrating than the serum. And it's true. It has a very thin watery consistency and when you put it on your skin it sinks right in and leaves a very plump and hydrated feeling. I use it as a first step of my skincare routine, well, after washing and all that, in the mornings and in the evenings, I put a few drops in my hand and then just dab it with my fingers. It's very runny, so you have to be careful that it doesn't run off your hand because it really wants to do that. So in case you feel that your skin needs a bit of additional moisture or you just want to plump it up a bit, I highly recommend checking this one out. My second favorite is a BB cream from Garnier. This one is made for combination to oily skin and I really love it because it lasts all day. It even lasts more than some of my foundations. Even my T-zone, which usually gets oily, is not really that bad with this BB cream. I really like it. Unfortunately, it comes only in two shades, light and medium. This one is light and I really like it because it's not pinkish, because pink really doesn't suit my skin tone. The only thing that I don't like is a very strong scent. I don't like scented makeup or just anything scented except for my perfume. And this one, well, it has a very fruity scent, but I can get past that because it's a really good BB cream with about a, like sheer to medium coverage. It has a bit more coverage than you're used from a BB cream. Next favorite is this spray from Catrice that I just reviewed. It's called Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It's not very dewy, as I mentioned so many times before, it has more of a natural finish, but I really love the way it makes my skin and makeup look. As you can see, I used, well, <laughs> so much of it already and I only have it for, I don't know, a month and a half or even less than that. I use it all the time, it's really pretty. It takes the powdery finish away and it really nicely sets the makeup and it doesn't make my skin any more oily even though it's called dewy. Next I want to show you the Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop and this palette is so well made. I love the color selection, the shades are just beautiful and they blend beautifully and they are very pigmented, so I just love using them. I think Kathleen did a really good job with this palette. If you want to see a tutorial with this palette, I'm gonna link it up here somewhere because I already made it and you can see for yourself how well these shades work. Another palette is more of an honorable mention because I only got it in the second part of February, but I had to mention it anyway because since I got it I used it pretty much every day and well, I can already say that it's one of my favorite palettes. It's the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I just love the shades in here. I think it's a perfect neutral palette with this beautiful black shade and some dark shimmery shades which I love for all over the lid and yeah, besides that you get just beautiful neutrals for everyday looks. I will link the review up here, but in short these shades are very pigmented and they blend beautifully and well, like I said, they're just gorgeous. I love this palette. For the end I would like to show you a hair product. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned any hair products before, but I've been on the hunt for a good dry shampoo that doesn't leave any white cast and doesn't have that obnoxious smell that so many do. And I really like this one from Herbal Essences. As I said, it doesn't leave any white cast and it has a bit of a fruity scent that is not as strong as it usually is with dry shampoos. So I really enjoy using it. It nicely takes the oily whatever from my hair so they look fresh again and a bit fluffier than they did before. So these are all my new favorites that I've been loving in the past month. I don't have as many because I still love so many that I already showed you in previous favorites video. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Would it be interesting for you to see those products again so you can see what I'm loving 
over and over and over again or is it more fun to just see the new products i don't want to repeat myself that's why i didn't include them in this video but if you would like to see them next time just let me know and i can film that as well anyway if you like this video please give it a like and please consider subscribing so we can see each other next time bye i have cat hair on my face oh. i put a few drops in my oh what are you hand <laughs> I just put a few drops in my hand. I just put a few drops in my hand and then dab to two two fingers. It's made You can't talk. For the end I would like to show you a hair product. I'm not sure whether I ever I... So these are all my <laughs> cat hair.